I'm going to make some mushroom soup tonight. I know there's been some videos out there. Kenji just did a great video about it. And uh, I'm going to do one anyways. Even though he just did one, it's a big thing. I'm not necessarily trying to copy his. I'm just trying to do my own thing here. So what we've got is we've got one pound of white button mushrooms. These were on sale at Aldi for 99 cents each. Great deal. Got another 10 ounces of uh, cremini mushrooms. These are all going to go into the soup and be pureed. M most of these will, but I'm going to leave some of them chopped up for sort of a garnish so the soup still has some texture. We got an onion. We've got a bunch of garlic. We've got chicken stock, some delicious chicken stock that I made from some leftover roast chicken in the pressure cooker. What we start doing is these little stems, they come right off. Super easy. We're just gonna cut these into rough chunks. We can cut them into quarters or whatever we want. I think the basic idea is the smaller you cut them, the quicker the cook. You people remember that, right? From the early days of the internet? Badgers, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Okay. Canola oil. So I just washed my knife and I'm drying it because knives are a big investment. They're important tools and we want to make sure that we take care of them. So we don't let them sit around and be dirty. We don't leave them in the sink because it's bad for the knives and you can cut the shit out of your hands if you forget they're in there. So we wash our knives, we dry them off and we put them back in their storage. Mushrooms are going in. Lots and lots of mushrooms, I know. I like to harvest this stuff because it's only going to evaporate anyways, but I don't want it to evaporate necessarily because this is some really incredibly delicious stuff right there. Just a little trick of mine. This stuff is just gold. It's just... Mm. And so I like to take this out if the opportunity presents itself and then add it back in. Look how much they've reduced in there. And they're still giving up this beautiful liquid. I think we got enough liquid out of there, so we're gonna carefully this up the side and we're gonna clear space in the middle here. And we're gonna add a little more canola earl and in with our onions. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit because this burner is outrageous and I know it is. Pepper, pepper, pepper. I like a lot of pepper, so we're using a lot of pepper. A little bit of oil and in goes the garlic. We just want to kind of stir that garlic around until it becomes fragrant. And do like that much time. We're going to do that much cayenne. We're going to do a little bit of oil because a lot of herbs and spices are oil soluble. So that means they really release their flavors and their essences and oils and whatever goodies they have, they release them when they contact heat and oil. We're gonna do a tablespoon of a fleur, roughly. Yep, good enough. We're just going to give the flour a few seconds or maybe a minute just so that it can kind of cook off that raw cereal taste. 
And that flour is going to be used to thicken this. So that's right, we're building in a roux. So now we're going to take our boda brick and we're going to put in, I'm going to call that like maybe a quarter cup of white wine, maybe, which means we're actually going to want just a hair more. We turn the heat back up. Chicken stock, our beautiful, gorgeous chicken stock. Parsley, chives, Cherville, thyme, marjoram, and bay leaves. Really good all-purpose blend. It's good. So our, our mushroom essence is going in there. So I'm actually going to turn this back burner on warm because I feel like this burner is less ferocious. We're going to call this good. This is going over to the other burner. We're going to cover it mostly. So here we have our finished soup. I hit it with stick blender and I didn't record it, but that's all right because that's just 30 seconds, not a big deal. I also cooked some pearl barley in the pressure cooker. Very late seasoning, a little chicken base, a little pepper. So the other thing I'm going to add to this is a little bit of Sicilian salami. Adding about half of this, I guess. And that looks like a nice hearty soup, doesn't it? There's still some bits of mushrooms because I took some out and I reserved them. So I didn't puree all of the mushrooms. So we have little bits of mushrooms. We've got uh, some lovely pearl barley. And we have this nice, uh, sharp Sicilian salami. I highly recommend you give this a try. Especially if mushrooms are on sale like they were this past week at Aldi. A savory mushroom soup. Do it. Also, thanks for watching.